at least he's saying he was drugged after meeting a female at a bar. That's what the, I mean, you seem shocked. That's what, what's in the police report. Have you read it? All right, court is calling 2023 CR 1642 State of Texas versus Janelle Garza. Can our parties approach and announce for the record for the state? Hank Wilkins for the state. Defense. Elizabeth Russell for Janelle Garza. Are you Janelle Garza? Yes, yes. Counsel, you received all the discovery. Did you review it with your client? I did, Judge. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Garza, I'm showing you what's entitled application for deferred adjudication or community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it? Yes, yes. Showing you what's entitled true bill of indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Counsel, do you weigh the reading of the indictment? We do, Judge. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Ms. Garza, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. And did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, Your Honor. Do you understand you're charged with the offense of unauthorized use of a vehicle that's state jail felony? The range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility yes. and up to a $10,000 fine. Yes. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court doesn't follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes. Did you understand by entering this plea bargain agreement you were giving up those rights? Yes, sir. Did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes. Sir. Did you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication? If for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could fine you guilty and sentence you up to two years in the state jail facility yes, and up sir. to a $10,000 fine. Yes, Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? She has, Judge. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? Yes, Judge. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Judge. Ms. Garza, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, Your Honor. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, Your Honor. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial? Showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, yes. According to the plea, there's a $500 fine to be probated. State recommends deferred adjudication. There's to be restitution, if any, to Josiah Hernandez. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, Your Honor. Defense, is that the plea? Yes, Judge. State, is that the plea? Yes, ma'am. Showing you the waiver of appeal paragraph. Did you review that paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, have there been any such motions? There isn't, Judge, but there might be an issue as to restitution. We are requesting a restitution hearing, and we'd request a limited right to appeal on the restitution issue only if necessary. There wouldn't necessarily be a right to appeal on the restitution hearing. It would be... This is the restitution amount. You all present evidence on that. And I either accept the amount as is or not, but there's no appealable issues for restitution. Okay, Judge. All right. I'm going to show you what's entitled, uh, what's outside the agreement. The state is requesting that your deferred adjudication be for a term of two years. There'll be a TAP evaluation and 80 hours of community service restitution. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, Your Honor. Then to the offenses charged, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State any evidence? Your Honor, I offer state's exhibit one and the attachments. No objection, Judge, but when given the opportunity, I would like to speak on behalf of Ms. Garza. Okay. Ms. Garza, I'm showing you what's entitled waiver and consent to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, Your Honor. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence state's exhibits one in attachments and review the same. After reviewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding of guilt as you've applied for deferred adjudication. 
Are we proceeding with sentencing? We are, Judge. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Yes, Judge. Um, Ms. Garza, at the time of the offense, had been a drug addict for several years. Um, when she was arrested, it was her first felony arrest, and it scared her. It scared her enough to get clean and to get a job. Since May 10th of this year, she's been clean. She did it on her own without going to rehab because she couldn't afford to go to rehab. And she's been clean for over six months. She has reconciled with her mother and she's been employed since June of this year. She is a different person than the person that committed this offense because um, she understood and is willing to take responsibility for exactly what happened and wants to move forward with her life. She understood a change was necessary. And um, I think you, the person that you see today is a different person than the person that committed this offense. So we would request that you place her on deferred adjudication because of that um, for the two year period and um, and just follow the state's recommendation. Judge. Okay. And what did you do? Uh, like No, for, with regards to this offense. What did I do? Yes. Uh, what, do you, what do you mean, what did I do? I mean, you're here for an authorized use of a vehicle. Oh, so what did okay. you do? Um, I took someone's vehicle without their permission. All right, because the police report is saying, at least he's saying he was drugged after meeting a female at a bar. That's what the, I mean, you seem shocked. That's what, what's in the police report. Have you read it? Uh, I went over it. It's just, yes. I didn't read that exact part. Oh, yeah. It says he was drugged, but I, I understand. So was he drugged? <laughs> no. And then he said his debit card was taken without his permission as well. I did not take his debit card. Well, they found it in your purse. That's what the police report says. Because it says right here. Don't, I don't victim, remember them saying anything about that. And I no. don't remember having the debit card or anything. It says, um, according to the original case number, victim had been drugged after meeting a female at the bar. Victim allowed the female to take him home in his vehicle. After waking up, he discovered his vehicle was gone with the keys, cell phones, and multicolored debit card. He found out later in the day his debit card had been used at, at a local gas station. The stolen vehicle, which is what we're here today, was found today, had the keys in the ignition, and had no signs of tampering in the steering column. Victim stated he never gave any consent to take or use his vehicle and wanted to uh, process with charges. Victim gave us consent to process and search the vehicle. While searching the vehicle, victim's debit card was found inside her purse. So they're saying they found his debit card inside your purse. Mm -hmm. The debit, well, I mean, you're saying, mm hmm No, I'm saying, I understand what you're saying. I don't recall them ever I mean, saying that or them telling me that or of them ever saying that they found a debit card in the purse if they did. Um, yeah, that's what they say right here. I, I understand. I just don't recall them ever telling me that personally or them ever bringing well, that up. Well, wait a second. This is what the police report says. The debit card was a multicolored debit bank card. I also found a gray camouflage bag in the trunk with some work gear and victim's work identification card. Suspect, that's you, was advised of her rights and asked why victim's debit card was in her purse. Suspect said she found it in the vehicle and thought it belonged to her friend. The bag in the trunk, she said, was already there. She said she didn't know the vehicle was stolen. So the debit card was found in your purse. Mm -hmm. When you're drug tested today, what are the results going to be? I'll be clean. All right. So we'll do a drug test today. Then I'll come back with sentencing. All right, Ms. Abrams, can you do a drug test? All right. Thank you. All right. Are you all ready? Yes. All right. We're back on the record in 2023 CR 1642. State versus Janelle Garza. So when's the last time you used marijuana? Um, yesterday. All right. So what your attorney was singing your praises about how you've gotten your life together and you did it all on your own. So why are you using marijuana? Um, well, I guess I should say I got my life together. I used to use meth for five years. I'm meth. sorry, what? I used to use meth and yeah. for five years. That's what I've been clean for for the last six months. But marijuana is illegal here in Texas. So why are you using marijuana? It just helps me with my anxiety. That's basically it. All right. But as a part of the program I and taking know. responsibility, mm -hmm. yes, when sir. your attorney was singing your praises, talking about how you you clean and sober, yes. you know that sobriety does not mean that you use in marijuana. You should have stopped her and said, wait a minute. Uh, let me tell you something. But you didn't. You waited till you got caught. Mm -hmm. 
um I mean I mean you did that's your opinion yes and no I, I mean that's true did you let me ask you this did you interrupt your attorney and tell her I'm not clean and sober because I'm using marijuana that's yes or no did you tell her that I told her that I was using marijuana yes I mean when you were before the bench no but because I just feel like there's different types of sobriety. For me, um, the meth use was really bad. So, um, well, and I haven't, I didn't, I couldn't carry a job for the last five years. And in the last six months that I have been sober from methamphetamines, I have been able to get a job and get a car and see my daughter every day and be a mom and be present. You're not allowed to use marijuana while you're on probation. I understand that. And I, I understand that I would not be able to use it and I won't use it. But do you understand you're not clean and sober? Yes. And mm -hmm. so what do you do for a living? I'm a nanny. <clears throat> oh, not anymore. I don't allow people on felony probation to be nannies, to be home health care providers, and especially someone who's not clean and sober. And who are you a nanny to? Is this a relative or somebody? Uh, yes. Sister, cousin, yeah. who is it? Huh? All right. So that job is over with today. You understand? Yes. So how far did you go in school? Um, I went all the way through high school. I graduated and um, I went through some trade school. I had my medical assistant. I went through medical, medical assistant school. I finished that. And where are your children? Um, right now she's at school. And how old do you only have one child? I only have one. She's 14. And does she live with you? Yes. And my mom and my grandparents and my other family. When you say your mom, your grandparents and other family, what is other family? Um, my aunt, my other aunt. Um, there's a whole bunch of us that live at my grandma's house. All right. This is what the court is going to do. Are, are there any other questions? No, your honor. All right. There's a $500 fine. That will be probated. Three years deferred adjudication. Going to do a TAP evaluation, follow recommendations. If they recommend inpatient treatment, we'll start with intensive outpatient treatment. There's going to be 90 sober meetings in 90 days. I'm going to want her tested for levels. If the marijuana levels go up, then we're going to address that. There is going to be the UA hotline, regular reporting by Zoom or in person, 100 hours of community service restitution, parenting classes. Once she completes parenting classes, 50 of those hours will be deemed to be satisfied. You're either going to get a higher level education or either you're going to complete trade school or whatever you're going to do. Uh, that's going to be required. And once that's completed, then the remaining of the community service will be deemed to be satisfied. Proof of employment within 30 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. Other than her daughter, accurate? No, no unsupervised contact with minors. With I'm sorry? I won't ever be unsupervised with her. I'm sorry, what? I won't ever be unsupervised with my daughter. All right. My mom always is there with her. Thank you. And do you have any CPS history? Um, there was a long time ago, but they were both closed and dropped. All right. And what was the CPS history concerning? Um, due to my meth use. Okay. I'm going to want field visits one time per month for three months. And if there are no issues... Uh, then it'll be one time uh, every four months. Restitution, if any, and no contact with Josiah Hernandez and counsel. If there is restitution that's determined by probation and you think it's inappropriate, you can come back for a hearing. And Judge, I do think we're going to need a hearing. Um, they've submitted numbers to restitution that we believe is inappropriate. Okay. All right. And probation, is there anything else she needs? Your Honor, I... Apologize. Um, you said restitution of any and no contact with Josiah Hernandez. Yes. Um, and and it's J O S I A H. Thank you, Judge. Um, nothing, nothing else, Judge. Is there anything you need from the court to be successful? No, yeah. All right.
And then uh, if you all want, Ms. Ferguson will set it for a restitution hearing. I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants' rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Right, because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes. All right, we can go off the record in this court. Communication is very key. Is key. If you want to be successful on probation, you'll need to communicate with the probation officer. If there's an issue and you feel they're not addressing it, you can always come back to the court. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Is there anything else? No, Judge. All right. Just have a seat. They'll go over conditions with you. Thank you.